Hey, it's David Hulka, and I'm out in Wickenburg, Arizona today, and today we're going to do Vulture Peak Trail, and I've never done this trail, so I don't really know what to expect. I know it's 3.8 miles. Let me flip the camera around and show you what I see here. If I'm doing it properly, at least this is the trail, and I don't even know whether we're going there or there. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Looking forward to it. So this is how the trail starts, nice and flat wide, well-maintained, choya everywhere. I'm a magnet for those things. The things you see on hikes in Wickenburg, Arizona, just a random cow in the trail. All right. Look at all the choya, so many of them. One point one miles into our hike, we haven't gained a whole lot of vertical yet. It's kind of just been rolling hills, but I imagine that's where we're headed right there at the top of that thing. We'll find out soon, won't we? One point five miles into the hike now and getting closer. Okay, so this hike is three point eight miles total, right? That means it's one point nine miles each direction. We're at one point five miles. So we've got four tenths of a mile to go on the way out. And four tenths of a mile, we're gonna be on top of that beast. That's gonna be steep. Every once in a while, you gotta stop and look around at where you just came from. Not there yet, not even close. Okay, so. I haven't found this difficult, this trail very difficult so far, but it's probably getting that way right now. I don't know, maybe not yet. It's a little steep though. We're getting there. This is Tammy and Tracy, my hiking partners for today. Okay, it's looking a little bit more like Echo Canyon, Camelback now. Big step ups. More like a stair climber than a ramp at this point. Don't believe any idiot who tells you this is a 3.8 mile hike. <laughs> There's no way. No. We're at 2.1. We haven't even gotten to the saddle yet. We need to, after we get to the saddle, we're gonna get up there, so. All trails lied to me as usual. Okay, still 2.1 miles. We made it to the saddle. I suppose we're gonna go up there somehow, some way. There's the trail for that, but here's the whole view all the way around. 360, facing east. All right, going to the top now, the, the, from the saddle, going to the peak. This is totally camelback-ish, if not even harder. Like, this is a big step right here. Whew. Good Lord. I have long legs to do that one. This is harder than Piestra or camelback right here. Look at that. It's straight up. Heck yeah. Made it. Boy, that was a scramble to the top. I'm still out of breath. Here's the geological marker right here. The uh, registry box is right there. Sign in there. I forgot to bring a Hike AZ sticker to stick on that thing. I fail. I gotta come back and do it again tomorrow now. Do you Tracy. have one in your car? No. Yeah, go back we'll, to the car We'll come it. back up. Yeah. Tracy, where are we at on mileage? We are come on, Tammy, get up here. 2.2. 2. 2. 2. So 1347. 1347 oh, elevation already. Wow. Um, so literally it is a moderate hike until the saddle down there. Boy, from there up it's like flat iron, really. It's a scramble, rock wall. Very challenging. 
any average Joe hiker can get to the to the uh, to the uh, saddle down there, but to get up here, boy, it's, that makes it a difficult hike at this point. You got to earn your cookies. Okay, we've successfully survived the descent down. Of course, I can break my ankle anywhere. That's just the way I am, but, uh, but I think the rest of it should be pretty easy. We actually hike out of here on a slightly different trail. We're on the same trail now on the way down, but it will separate later on and we'll be like parallel to the one we were on. So it's not gonna be the exact same scenery, but pretty close. But yeah, it's definitely, I'm gonna guess 4.4 miles total by the time we're done, not 3.8. We found some more wildlife. <laughs> Morning. Hey, how you guys doing? Morning. How are you? Good. Good.